use a similar drill like we did in the previous um, mirror imaged one. We're going to play with that same concept, but we're going to do it in this new timing. So we're going to go up, up, like this. And you can start right from here. Which, whatever's more comfortable for you. But we're going to start from here, and when you are ready, take your first poi that's going to break and bring it diagonal. And then the other one immediately following. So let's practice that. Go break, break, top. Diagonal, diagonal, top. Go top, top, diagonal, diagonal, side, side, diagonal, diagonal, top, top, diagonal, diagonal, side, side. You get the point. Practice that for a little bit, and then we'll continue some more. Now it gets more fun. We're going to hit the bottom diagonals. Now we're going to kind of initiate this in the exact same way. We're kind of repeating the original uh, sequence, but in a different timing. So if we were to start from these side saws, which you should have down already, if you've been watching these tutorials in order, and we're going to go diagonal, 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 side, 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 side. Diagonal, diagonal, side, side. Diagonal, diagonal, down, down. Diagonal, diagonal, side, side, down, down. Side, side, diagonal, diagonal. Play with it. Then go back up top. Play with that whole sequence and have fun with it, and then we'll continue. Now that we've covered all those stall points and we can move well, more comfortably between them, we're going to kind of stick to just our diagonals, but using the same sort of exercise. Uh, we're going to go back to the mirror imaged same time one, and Start the same way as we have been. We're going to go diagonal up, diagonal down. Or diagonal up, diagonal down. Diagonal up, diagonal down. Play with that. Then start working on it in the quarter time one. And, and I, I, go, I say quarter time, and it really is quarter time because there are moments when your poi are in the same plane. Namely, this being atomic, not really quarter time, but when you shift here, it is quarter time because they're in the same plane, okay? And I, I might catch some uh, debate here on saying that this isn't quarter time, but I don't really care. I don't view it as quarter time. If you want to view it as quarter time, go ahead and view it as quarter time, but it's semantics. Does it really matter what it's called? If we can all do it, it works. We all have different theories. So, starting from this, and then my right hand, right here, is going to break when it's ready down to this stall point. And we end up in the same plane for a segment of time. Then when you're ready, you bring your left hand, my blue poi, and you put it down into its next stall point in the sequence. And from here, my right poi is going to lead to the top. And go here. Now we're in the same plane again. And to finish off the sequence, I'm going to move my left hand up to its top diagonal stall point. All thing put together looks like this. sure to change directions and change it up and that's as easy as just pausing here for a few extra beats. Practice that and we'll go further. Now there's a few fun things you can do from here. Um, we can do something that is uh, very similar and closely related and you won't really have to uh, 
uh, traverse too far to get it. Um, from this pattern, rather than uh, keeping each hand on its native side, we can cross down like this. This changes the timing up a little bit and it tests your motor skills because your hand is now on its non-native side. My left hand is on non-native and it's not necessarily used to that. So you can enter this by instead of reversing the direction at a front stall point you can continue it without changing the other hand the other hand is still frozen in time between these two stall points and you got one that is just doing a cap or it's not a cap because it doesn't go into extension but it's continuously doing this in diagonal plane while the other one is just continuing to do this in its diagonal plane. Okay? So again, looks like this. And we can link that up with the other side by using this as our transition point. And then the left hand goes. So practice that a little bit and we'll continue. There is a bottom side version of this where we were using this as our transition point, or this uh, point is our tra transition point. We can also do it on the bottom side as our transition point. So doing the same thing, but with the hand that isn't doing the full, um, the full transition from side to side is going to be down here, repeating its pattern instead of up here. Okay? It's a lot harder to do, but as you feel it out, you should be able to get it. And just like with the top side, we can change hands by going like that. And just moving the left hand up through its transition. Oops. So practice that and we'll come back. just a couple ways of moving between our original six points and some diagonal movements. Um, good ways to do that, as we've covered already, is starting from any of these front stall points. And the whole reason why we covered going from or mixing these stall points in with our original stall points is so we can get used to entering and exiting our diagonals and using them fluently with our original stall points. So you really want to practice treating them as if they're part of the original set of stalls. And it's as easy as just doing it like this. Because whether you whether your poi are moving together or separately, you should be able to connect the stall points very easily. No matter if both poi are together in this front stall point or they're together or it's one at a time, you should be able to break from there into any of these points. So maybe while you're in your 3D flow, just at any point, if a poi reaches that front stall point, you can transition between diagonals and flats. Or not flats, but you know what I mean. Your original stall points and your diagonal stall points. At any point here, you can make that transition. So 
The best way to work it into your flow is to use it in your flow and you're combining it with your original stall points instead of neglecting your original stall points for the sake of doing diagonals. Because if you get stuck there, then it will be clear that you're switching between your diagonal stall points and your octahedronal stall points. So the goal is to use them fluently and the best way to do that is drills. See you next time.